This was the beginning of Susan's nightmare. Now all she remembers is the pain. Oh, my God! Your leg had to be amputated. You couldn't have cut off my leg! She had her whole life ahead of her. It's not fair! There is no physical reason why you can't have a husband and children. I know what my life will be like. No man's gonna want me when I'm only half a woman. I, I said we wouldn't have to postpone the wedding. Because there isn't going to be any wedding. Oh. Oh. Nurse gave me 50 milligrams of morphine stat. CBC type and cross match for six units of blood stat. Nurse, I said give me 50 milligrams of morphine now. Damn it, I said now. Move, damn it. We had to remove your leg. I can't marry you, Susan. You're never going to be anything but a hopeless cripple. Susan would have to forget to be what it had been, a future she desperately needed to share. It would on what kind of a woman she was. We need to talk about Tiffany. All right. Maybe you haven't jumped into the sack with her yet. But it's my contention that it's only a matter of time. It's never been a question of wanting you. I think you'll like what I have for dessert. But does Susan belong out there? God, how she hated them. They're all so happy, walking, walking. All I want to know is if you're going to marry me or not, damn it! Excuse me there, baby. Gee, Brady, looks like you'd like to serve a little piece of action. Yeah, I could do with a little action. You know what I mean. Hey, Missy, what's the hurry? All this evening, I've just wanted to be one other place, and that's where I'm going right now. You can't do this to me! Well, you just watch. You bastard! Did you mean it when you said you love me? No. I don't love you. He suffered extensive damage in the accident. There's a good chance that his legs are affected. Oh, no. Never again, Susan. Never. It isn't there anymore. Only this. <laughs> <laughs>